Okay, this is a 1986 Yamaha Enticer Long Track, also known as the Trapper. So you can see it's uh, got this big rack on the back and a gigantic tow hitch on the back. Anyway, I've had it for a few days now. I rode it up on the trailer, pilot jet and main jet rode a little bit clogged. I've uh, cleaned that up and it started first pull. Anyway, let me get this set up on the tripod and I'll get this thing started. I haven't done any cleanup on this at all. I just cleaned the carbs. It's got a bent steering rod, you know, the those sound like pretty easy to work on too. I was pretty shocked. Yeah, it's only got a single carb twin cylinder. I've got the paper towel trick going. Checking those that nut bowl gasket situation. Make sure it's not going to leak. And then if you can see that steering rod in there I mentioned earlier is bent. I'm going to pull that out in the next couple of days and get that on the vise and straighten that back out and realign these skis a little bit anyway pretty simple sled look how big the rack is on that I wonder people up north like these so much kind of like a some kind of a scandic almost I'm not sure which one came first but this thing's pretty awesome I got like 2300 and something miles. I was pretty stoked to get it in this good condition. I'll get it cleaned up too. Okay, I'm trying to straighten out this piece. It's kind of being a pain, but I think we'll get it this time. as good as I'm gonna get it. We'll put it in there and see how she does. So I had to tighten that bowl nut one more little tiny turn to get it to quit leaking and then still smelled that gas. That's a good indication in your shop if you come back later and it still smells that gas. Start looking for some more gas leaks. So I stuck a paper towel down here underneath the fuel pump. And I'm seeing all kinds of gas leaks down there. I'm going to pull most of these fuel lines off the fuel pump. Yeah, I just saw a big drip right there. I think that hose in that spring that's covered by that spring right there. Right here. Where I'm pointing that's a fuel line you can see it dripping right there I'm gonna pull that off replace it look at the big gas spill down at the bottom on that paper towel anyway gas is one of your number one things you can smell that's leaking in your shop
enticer, ready to go. Maybe just a little idle food and that's it.